Hey everybody, Kimmy McBurdy, and this is Living in the United States. Have you ever wanted to literally live in the middle of the nowhere? Below the ocean. <laughs> we are currently at the Badwater Basin in Death Valley, California. We are 282 feet below sea level. Rumor has it we're walking on some, some salty soil here, but we are diving in to check out Death Valley. So as you guys know, my family and I are traveling all over the US in our RV trying to figure out where we want to live. Death Valley is probably not on my list, but it got me thinking. Do people live in Death Valley? I don't know. There's some pretty nice looking resorts here, so those people have to live somewhere, right? So today we're gonna check out what it's like to live in Death Valley, explore some of the sites around town. So follow along and see if Death Valley or the surrounding town might be the place for you. We'll even throw in a map tour, so stay tuned. You definitely don't want to miss that. Uh, and let's go check it out. All right, so as I mentioned, my family is here in Death Valley. This is being filmed the day after the intro. So it is morning right now. It is December 5th, I believe. It is a sunny uh, 52 degrees right now. So I probably could ditch this water if I wanted to. Um, but here's our camper. We're at a campsite. We're staying at the Furnace Creek campground is part of the national park here in Death Valley. But yeah, digging back into Death Valley. So yeah, naturally when I came to visit Death Valley, I wondered to myself, can you live in Death Valley? Who lives in Death Valley? Because the record high temperature in Death Valley, I think in the 30s, was 134 degrees Fahrenheit. It's pretty freaking hot. And then it says on average in August, the average temperature is 120 degrees. It can be pretty stifling. So I uh, hit the Google to figure out who lives in Death Valley and where do they live. So I found out there's about three to 600 full-time residents year round. It's a bit seasonal for the full-time residents, but that's quite a few. Just from glancing around town, you know, I saw a lot of um, mobile homes, modular homes. So it seems like they mostly house the two populations of people who work here. Like I mentioned, there are a few resorts, which I'll show here. Kind of strange, like you're just driving along and then there's all of a sudden this desert oasis um, of a resort. So the town houses mostly resort employees. And then, like I said, there's a national park here. So there is a big national park employee population. So it did mention funny that most of those rangers that get assigned to this station, you know, are are industrious and aggressive and ready to move forward in their career. So they spend some time here in Death Valley. So it's definitely not for everybody, as I figured it was um, employees mostly. And you definitely have to be prepared for the weather. Like I said, summers average 120 degrees for the month of August. So not for the faint of heart. So one thing um, you're probably noticing a theme with everyone who lives here is they are fed by the tourism industry. So they either work at a resort or the national park. The Death Valley National Park is actually one of the most visited national parks in California. I assume for its location, um, you can get here easily from Las Vegas or Southern California. I saw actually a lot of tour buses from Vegas yesterday. Definitely a popular area to visit and a quick drive from a lot of uh, the California suburbs. So I checked out a few things yesterday and want to tell you guys about it. First, I'll show you some footage from the Badwater Basin where I did my intro. Super cool, it is the lowest elevation in the United States. Um, just a really cool experience. Like I said, I went in December, so it was beautiful and <laughs> nice and cool, but I'm sure it's not that way year round. And then after the Badwater Basin, we went to the Artist's Loop. So it's kind of a one way, like scenic loop. We came that way from the Badwater Basin, but definitely a unique desert landscape. I'll be honest, the video of the Artist's Loop does not do it justice. Really cool colors. Apparently the ash and you know, mineral deposits years ago um, left those cool colors. So they change year round depending on the rainfall and the saturation, um, but two really cool spots. And there's definitely plenty other spots to check out, but I definitely recommend at minimum Badwater Basin and the Artist's Loop. Um, and we have two small kids, they're two and five. So pretty easy with the kids. It's a pretty quick walk to the Badwater Basin. And then the Artist's Loop was also pretty quick. So definitely two spots I would recommend checking out if you have a quick stop in Death Valley. So if you're wondering why it's called Bad Water Basin, it's because obviously the water here is basically a mixture of salt and aquifer water, but a 
journeyman years ago was here with his mule, I think in the 30s, and the mule would not drink the water, so he dubbed it bad water. <laughs> really, it's just really salty. All right, and lastly, as promised, we're gonna take you on a quick map tour of Death Valley, because I assume some of the employees may commute from the closer area. So if you're wondering what the heck is close by, because I myself popped on Zillow and I was like, hey, what's for sale right now in Death Valley? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> you can't buy a house, you can't buy land. There was nothing for sale. So I zoomed out on my map and was able to find some other nearby suburbs uh, that have some availability. So I'll go through those now on the map tour for you guys. So digging into our map tour of Death Valley. So we're starting with, you got California, Nevada, Utah, Arizona. So Death Valley is kind of situated right here, tucked away just by Las Vegas. So we will zoom in. Death Valley, let's do Furnace Creek. So that's actually where we stayed. And it's not letting us zoom in, here we go. Death Valley National Park. So as we get closer, you're gonna notice that the little red dots seem to go away. Like I mentioned, I was kind of curious, do people actually live here? You know, is there real estate for sale? So currently no real estate for sale in Death Valley National Park area. So Badwater Basin is somewhere we're gonna go visit on our tour. We stayed um, in the National Park. It's a really cool area, but again, you'll hear me mention later on, if you're gonna live here, you're more likely gonna find yourself in somewhere like Pahrump or the surrounding towns. So we've got Pahrump, which is actually in Nevada, or you're gonna be over here in the Homewood Canyon area. Let's see what's available over there. Oh, very reasonably priced house in Trona, California. But again, you'll see from some of the footage when we're walking around town, not much to see. And it, I found out that a lot of the national park employees and resort employees are housed in kind of resort housing. So that's how they pull that off. But yeah, here, let's look here. Oh, some reasonable land just over the, over the border in Nevada. So yeah, you've got some options, but I don't think a ton of people live in Death Valley, California, but let's check out what else we've got to see. All right, so there you've had it. There's your exclusive map tour of the Death Valley area and some surrounding communities where you might find a place where you wanna live. Like I said, my name is Penny McBurney. This is Living in the United States. Thank you for joining me along this journey of finding where I wanna live in the United States, and hopefully I can find you a great place too. If you want to get in touch with a local realtor anywhere in the U.S., shoot me an email, info at livinginthenitedstates.com, or check out the link in the description of this video to search for properties all over the U.S. So that's it. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, hit that bell notification to learn when I put out more videos, and let me know in the comments where you want to see next. Have a great day.